At any point in your career, you've probably heard someone yell from the top, growth, 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 expansion, expansion, expansion. Well, what does expansion look like? What does those growth metrics look like? A lot of the times it means entering a new market, whether it's a physical market, like a new city, opening a new office, offering a complete new service to a landscape of people. The first thing that you gotta look at, research. Make sure it makes sense. Right? If you're trying to do something bold and brash and that you've never done research and you feel like you're just gonna run through the wall and say, hey everybody, hang out with us, it might not work. And I'm probably gonna tell you that's not gonna work, right? The ability to understand what the market value is and what you're going into, that startup culture, because you as the CEO are not able to be boots on the ground like you were when you first started the company. You can't sit back here and bulldoze your way in just by going to every networking event and every, unless you move there and say, hey, I'm gonna go here and we're gonna do it. But reality is, is that that's only gonna last for a little while. You've built so much equity into the city that you started in or the service you started in or whatever it is, you built so much equity. Now thinking about you're gonna go do it all over again, it's gonna be tough. So do the research, make sure it fits and then develop a marketing strategy to actually enter whatever that is. New city, right? Say for example, us over here, we entered a new city a while ago and we had to understand what we were going to enter with, how we were going to enter, who our partners were, and if there was work here. So what we did was we created a couple of videos, obviously, to say, hey world, we're out here, we're in Las Vegas now. Worked well. We also had great partners that were able to promote that content with us to be able to expand to an audience that was primed to who we are and who our target was. Then come here and build a local presence. So for us, talking specifically about a new city, build a local presence, get out there in the community, have a community developer to just wave the flag of the business. It is so, so cool to see what turns around, but have them, if it's not you as the CEO, just make sure someone is extremely outgoing, who wants to talk about it, and then also incentivize them for how many conversations or connections they can make. It'll go a long way. And then adapt, right? The other thing too is you can go in with this perfect plan. We whiteboard it out, we blueprint it, it's perfect. You get there and it goes all to hell in a handbasket, as they say. It's not right, doesn't fit, community goes away, service is not wanted, whatever it is, then adjust. Either remove quickly, cut the losses and move on, or at that point, adapt and figure it out. Now, I don't know what's best for you, it's a matter of what your tolerance is and time is, as well as budget is, but, Couple of things you gotta look at. You gotta figure out how to adapt to serve the community. And then as always, like you do in your other business, monitor and adjust. Keep that ability to keep a pulse on the trigger to understand what your feedback loop is and consistently evolve with what the bigger vision is, right? Don't change the whole company, don't change the whole core values, but understand what you're trying to do and how you can serve the people to bring the dollars in, to bring the connections in, and at that point, grow the larger. So I hope this makes your business a little more awesome. And if you're expanding, congratulations. Congratulations. So happy for you. Amazing, amazing time ahead of you. Whether it's a new market, new service, new offering, congratulations. It is no, no small journey. And this whole community over here is so proud of you. So keep it going. I hope this makes your business a little more awesome today. And as always, we're gonna see you right here tomorrow. And uh, bye everybody, see ya.